a wallet linked to Hong Kong-based crypto exchange uh, Hashkey has reportedly sold over $90 million worth of Ethereum in the past 10 days. This massive selling activity appears to have triggered a slight decline in the ETH market, sparking speculations on the token's price trajectory. Um, according to a Sunday post on XBuy blockchain analytics platform, Look on chain, a crypto wallet with the address 0 XD 26 e sold off 50, 115 ETH, valued at $97.7 million within the period of 10 days. Look on chain notes that this wallet is related to Hashkey, having received a majority of the sold off ETH from the Hong Kong based exchange. A wallet related to Hashkey Dunt, $50 and $115.7 million in the past 10 days, and I've focused on well. And I was putting down because in double CDC uh, complete, um, and maybe I missed it to $5 radiator, uh, they think that uh, the average selling price probably is $2,077. Look on chain. November 19th, 2023. And an average selling price at $2,047. At Zero Wallet conducted its EFMO sell-off on the Binance and OKX exchanges, withdrawing 89.6 million USDT and 12.95 million USDC in return. As earlier stated, ETH dipped by over 4% in the last week, which is likely in response to such massive selling pressure. However, the second largest cryptocurrency has now found a Wednesday maintain high. A signed if puts their own 0.92% in the last day as it attempts to breach the $2,000 mark again. Even and looking at ETH's daily chart, it appears the selling spree by wallet. XD26E could be a precaution against an incoming significant decline in the token's value. After all, the relative strength index indicates that ETH just left the overbought zone and could still experience more losses in the coming days. This Albeit this downward trend is likely to be short-lived considering the high level of investor interest currently around the altcoin due to the brimming ether spot ETF race into the United States. So on Friday, Fidelity Investments became the seventh and the latest asset management giant to join the brawl having submitted its Fidelity Ethereum Fund proposal to the United States Securities Post and Exchange Commission. In addition to the Massachusetts-based company, other asset managers looking to launch an Ether spot ETF include prominent names like BlackRock, Hasdex, Grayscale, Vanek, and 21 shares in ARK. It is expected that other asset managers will join the race over the next few weeks, which will lead to a rise in positive sentiments towards Ethereum. Uh, while approval by the SEC is still very subjective and uncertain, the mere influx of Ether spot ETF applications signals an increasing interest in the altcoin from traditional finance investors, which in turn boosts investments in any cryptocurrency. Um, and for example, following reports of BlackRock's filling on November 9th, ETH gained by almost 13% to trade above the $2,130 mark in response to the buy impression it followed. Uh, at the time of writing, he trades at 1,950 hours with a 0.34% gain in the last hour, according to data from CoinMarketCap. Meanwhile, the token's trading volume is down by 32.64% and valued at $7.32 billion.